Hey guys, so how are you? In this video, we'll travel to West Texas and ride a Russian motorcycle. Oh, cool. Well, sounds exciting. Let's go, y'all. Typical American neighborhood. And then you see this. But first, let's meet John. John is a musician and a commercial music professor. Being a fan of Russia, John bought a Russian motorcycle, Ural, which is manufactured in my region, which makes me a little proud. You know, Ural is a part of Russia where I live. Is that right? Yeah, that's what it's called, Ural. Do you know Irbit? Irbit, yeah, it's in, uh, not far from where I live. So the odometer, they didn't bother to, to, to switch it to miles, so no. it's still in kilometers. Ooh, 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 yeah, back I'm about to ride on this Ural motorbike, and what interesting, in my childhood, me and my father and my older sister, we used to ride on these kind of um, motorbikes, but orange color. Oh my God, it was so much fun. Usually I use this sidecar. Morning. Morning. John lives in the small town of Leveland, which is just outside of Lubbock. Local economy is based around cotton farming and petroleum production. Leveland is your typical West Texas town. It's not unusual to see palm jacks in the middle of a neighborhood or cotton fields in the neighboring field. We're in downtown Lubbock. We're sitting at Triple G Chop House. Yeah, and I already love this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John plays here once per month. In Lubbock, in the historic depot district, you will find West Texas Walk of Fame with a statue of a rock and roll legend, Body Holly. John knows a lot of these guys, so apparently Lubbock, Texas has produced a lot of very talented musicians. Yeah, that's Just true. to give an example, yep. Bobby Keys, he was a he played Stones. saxophone with the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Which one of them you just saw a couple of days ago? Uh, David this Fox. guy, David Fox, yeah. <laughs> so, they're here in town. Yeah. And John just seen this guy a couple of days ago. Yeah. We are in Leveland, Texas, came to get some breakfast in a Russian motorcycle. Well, meet a lot of new people on the way. What's your name? Matthew. Uh, Matthew nice Nichols. to meet you, Matthew. So you don't look like a Texan cowboy. <laughs> These are my work clothes. I do have a, a cowboy hat though. And oh, you I do? I have the boots and jeans. That's kind of more for working though. And hey, what do you do for a living? Uh, so I do wealth management. So that's like trading stocks for people. And um, you know, I, I manage their finances. You know, they ask me questions like, hey, can I afford this house? And I say, you know, yeah, you can afford this much of a house kind of thing. Or, okay. In this part of Texas, what is it that you like to do for fun? So. Shoot guns, of course. <laughs> just, just like you, I would think. Uh, me and my buddies, we do uh, what we call like trap shooting. So you get like a clay um, disc, okay. throw it up in the air. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, see that. It's, it's a lot of fun, man. You ought to try it. Um, I also fly RC airplanes. I think Level Land does a good job of representing like the Texas stereotype. You know, like you might be thinking like cowboys, cows, boil, right? You know? And you might go to Austin and think. Man, that's that's not Texas. Austin's more like California. Exactly. Yeah, that's like we were talking about earlier. It's it's not really a good representation of Texas because it's not really Texans who live there. You know, it's it's uh, it's become an enclave of very rich people that are just you know it's another gateway place basically. That's right. Yeah. What's nice about here, you don't have to worry about crime and all that. Like 
I left my garage door open one time for two weeks because I left for Florida and I came back and no one installed anything. Oh wow! And if you live in Dallas, that's not gonna happen. Like you're gonna really your TV's gonna be gone when you come oh, back. Oh wow! Does everybody uh, arm you around? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> There's uh, I really don't know anybody who doesn't have a gun at least. Right. You know, everyone's got a gun. It's just, How it's many so do you have? Probably about 20 or so. 20 guns. Yeah. You mean like shotguns and pistols and all everything? Of them. Yeah. Yeah. Air 15, like shotgun, all of them. Yeah. Air 15, shotgun, all of them. Yeah. You plan to buy more? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I don't know why. You can't have enough. You know? it's, uh, it's, it's kind of an addiction once you. Because they're collector's items too. You know, like right. I've got guns that are from like my great grandpa. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. What did you get? Uh, panini with eggs with. Something else. Is this what I got? Yeah. I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. You see those pump jacks in operation and also they have those drillers so in fact the driller has to dig a hole first and to put a pump jack and that's what they've been doing for decades and decades if you didn't know this west texas is flat take a look you can see the horizon for 360 degrees interrupted only by the northern up and down of pump jacks pulling oil up out of the earth ransom canyon This place near Lubbock, Texas is called Ransom Canyon and the story behind it is that back in the day, probably like the 18th century, Indians would kidnap your wife or kids and this is where you would come to negotiate and give them some goods in return for your loved ones. So that's where it got its name from, Ransom Canyon. Luckily, these days we don't have to do that. Here you will find a giant wacky UFO shaped house in a suburban neighborhood just across the street from the rows of ordinary two-story houses. It's known as Robert Bruno Still House. Robert Bruno Still House is made of 150 tons of blackened steel, each piece welded by hand and was created with virtually no outside assistance. makes this place a special place? So yeah, that's a great question. Uh, Cook's Garage has been family owned and operated since uh, April of 2017. I myself have been working here since August of 2017. Uh, we feature live local musical artists up here on the stage every single night that we're open. We've got a massive stage outside. We're hoping to uh, get some um, national artists in soon. Um, it is special because um, these people go out of their way to take care of their employees. I love working here. I wouldn't work here for four years if it uh, if it wasn't that that good. We actually are a car garage. It's just very family oriented, um, and that's what makes it special. So I great. love it. Yes, it's great. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Now, and also, you play and sing here. Besides, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Besides. I play and sing here as well. I'm a musician. I'll be here playing on Sunday. Oh, so yeah. two to five. <laughs> Yeah, come back. <laughs> what kind of songs do you normally play? I play anything from oldies, Janis Joplin, to uh, today's country. Um, to I play a lot of 90s rock and stuff like that. So right. I've, I've been uh, called a trashy jukebox before. So I play all <laughs> sorts of things. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I'm so right. glad to meet Appreciate you guys. It. Thank, you guys. It. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the towing truck is even in worse condition than uh, the car it's towing, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. so, well, oh I don't have the dog got interested. Look at that. He's got some pictures of long horns. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Where can we find them? 
Okay, so the... Oh. What's the most popular? Uh, during uh, the summer of, uh, what you call it, 20... Last year, it was handgun. Everybody handgun. wanted a handgun. That was uh, the shield. Uh, those. The most famous gun in the world, a Glock 19. Yeah. Glock. Stuff okay. like that, everybody was scared. All these non-gun owners kept okay. watching all the stuff online. And uh, they were getting scared, <laughs> yeah. And uh, they started buying guns. They felt like uh, something bad was about to happen, and they were scared. They thought somebody was going to come yank them out of their car or out of their house and yeah. beat them for. Hey, you knew you were in the right business, right? <laughs> ah. What's the like the most powerful gun you got? You have here? 300 Win Mag, uh, Begara. These are made in Spain. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you're going to shoot like an elk, elephant, yeah. Wow. Large game, anything North America, that right wow. there. Wow. Shoot a 230 grain bullet, and uh, yeah, that'd be the best. For like someone who doesn't have a gun, what does it take to buy a gun? So, like handguns, you got to be a uh, Texas resident, current 21 years old, no, not a felon. You you fill out one of these, put your name, your info there, you answer all the yes and no questions, and uh, then there's a, a website we go on or we can call it's Nick's, it's the um, FBI runs it, and they sit there, and I, I put all this info in. And I hit send, and if anything pops, it'll come up and it'll say denied. Denied. 90%. Otherwise. Yeah, 95% of the time it's proceed. Okay. And then I sign it, they sign it, and then you just hand it and they go. Come back so, to the store and buy a gun. Yeah, that's, that's it. So yeah. pretty pretty simple, really. She wants a toy. Joe Biden. What's left of it? That's a good toy. Cody and them <laughs> oh, good job, good job. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got it. All right, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. They came in those pickup trucks, too. <laughs>
much. <laughs> turkey? <laughs> Did you say turkey? So teach me some local. Okay, so I'm from Dallas, and when I moved to West Texas, I learned this phrase, if somebody wants to say something will work, but the, what they say here is, that dog, instead of will, will hunt. That dog will hunt. That dog will hunt. That dog will hunt. That dog will hunt. When she passes, I On our way to Dallas, we also visited Amarillo, a city of 200,000 people. It's a unique and history-rich city located where the southern plains meet the desert. It's also a gateway to the vast, tray-lined Palo Duro Canyon State Park. Let's take a look at it. Also in this area, you'll find the famous Cadillac Ranch, which is an installation of 10 Cadillacs buried nose first into the ground, created in 1974. This is the Creative Arts Department, South Plains College, Leveland, Texas. Let's go take a look. Yep. So they teach uh, music performance in here so students can actually get up on on the stage and perform and then the class critiques you know what they're doing and stuff so. it's pretty modern i love it yeah well i'm taking a class on how to perform in, in front of large audiences now i'm ready to for, for big stadiums that's right oh you're teaching commercial music yep commercial i wish i knew how to play <laughs> wish i knew how to play what's your favorite Depends on what day it is, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> I don't know, this is the newest one. That might be my new favorite. Is it electric guitar or regular guitar? It's a bass. It's a oh, bass. bass. Can I try? Sure. I have a question. Yes. How does that equipment work? <laughs> so this is where the guys that teach live sound hang out. Live sound, live okay. Sound, like concert sound. Right, yeah. Okay. It's like basically like being an engineer, so, yeah. so complicated. Yeah. Again. And at the end of the semester, you get to perform up Yay! here. Yay! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Do you have any example if uh, some of the st uh, some of students from here became real famous and yes, popular? Yes, I do. Uh, there's a girl named Natalie Maines that is one of the singers with the Dixie Chicks group out of Dallas, Fort Worth. If somebody's not happy, you can shut them down. The concert, you know, I don't like it. Stop the performance. Where's the mute button? Done. <laughs> <laughs> the people I play with nowadays, um, it's mostly just jazz. Jazz, like okay. This, uh, see this poster here? This uh, Alma Quartet is our jazz group. We've had that band since 2003, which is kind of a long time to go without killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about West Texas in the comments, and I'll see you later. By the way, I'll have a separate video about all of Texas on Cool Vision. 